Hi, Matt from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial video on using the road tools in Rapid Plan. In Rapid Plan, there's a number of road tools for use on your plan. You'll see the road tools tab uh, within the tools tab that you've, the tools palette that you've got here. Um, to start using any of the tools, uh, you simply just hover over the tab, and it brings up a number of selections. Uh, so you'll have the road tool here, which is the signature tool within Rapid Plan, uh, turning lane tool the arc road tool, roundabout tool, uh, the intersection editor. So the intersection editor allows for creation of simplex, uh, sim simple and complex intersections within a couple of clicks. Um, so we recommend checking that out. The uh, link is in the description below. Road corner tool and the road region tool. Uh, so to begin with, I'll start using the road tool. Um, I'll step you through how you can change the properties of the road. Um, but also how we can kind of intersect roads together as well. So uh, to begin using the tool, it's just a simple left click and then a left click to start drawing the road on your plan. And as you can see, uh, the road's free forming when you form it on the road, so you can put it wherever you like. If you want the road to draw perfectly on a, a specific angle, you can hold down the shift key. And as you can see, it will draw straight to the specific angle that you'd like it at. Um, so if I just draw a perfectly straight road down here, you can see it'll just draw out for me. Um, you can add control points as you draw the road. So if I just click at certain intervals, you can see that the road has formed some control points in it. You can then left click to adjust those. And when I finished using that tool, I just simply right clicked at the last point and it finished using the uh, finishing using the road tool for me. So um, as you can see, you can maneuver the road however you like. So what I'll do is I'll use the road tool again, um, but I'll draw it out perfectly straight. And just a right click to finish at the last point. I'll then click on my road and I can move it wherever I like. Once selected, over in the properties palette here, you can see that there's a number of different selection options that we can toy around with. Um, so you can toy around with the actual color of the road itself, um, the lane count, so you can adjust how many lanes display on the road, the width. Um, with the width, you can also adjust it so you can adjust each individual lane rather than both lanes at the same time. So that's just that selection button there. You can change the markings on the road, so whether they are yellow or any other color, but also the style, so you can change them to solid, uh, dash solid, um, or whatever style that you prefer. Um, usually you'll stick with dashed, and also you can adjust your dash length and gap length. So as you can see, um, it's really up to you as to how you want to customize it. Um, you can then adjust all the edges and the sidewalks of the road. So you can click through each of these options here and it will give you more customization options. Um, getting down to the very bottom here, we also have your road ends. So you can adjust the road ends of the road. So for example, if you're drawing um, a specific street that has a cul-de-sac at the end. Um, for example, here I can adjust the first point and I can make it a flat road at the end as seen there. I can make it round uh, or I can make it a cul-de-sac as well. Um, and to adjust the cul-de-sac it's just a matter of adjusting the control point here um, or you can adjust its radius in the properties palette as seen here as well. And then to switch it off you just go back to none and it will bring your road back to normal. Uh, so what I'll also do is just draw in another road to intersect with the current one we have here. I'll draw it straight with the shift key as I did earlier. And as you can see, the roads will merge seamlessly. Um, so there's nothing else you need to do. The roads will do it all for you. Coming to the second tool we have in the roads tab here, uh, we've got the turning lane tool. Um, so this allows you to create simple turning lanes um, and you can adjust its properties as well. So to begin, you'll just 
need to merge two roads together. So to begin, you can just left click onto a pre-existing road with the turning lane tool and then merge it with the road that you've just drawn in. And then it's just a simple right click to finish using it. You may need to left click and drag it just so it matches up. And you might need to toy around with its control points as well just so it, it aligns with the road. Uh, once that's done, um, you can adjust its control points to bring it over to your existing road so it adds as a turning lane. Uh, we recommend adding another control point in the middle so this allows for better control of the turning lane. So to do that you can right click and click insert control point. Uh, this will allow you to maneuver the turning lane over. Uh, with the, the turning lanes you'll have the blue bezier control points so these allow you to adjust the thickness of the road. So as you can see you can just left click and adjust them and then you've got your turning lane set in there um, on your on your highway or your road that you've got set out. Um, so that covers the turning lane tool. Um, we've also got the arc road tool. Uh, this just allows you to draw in a perfect arc so this could be good for a, a road that's coming off to the side. So I'll demonstrate here. So to use the arc road tool it's just a simple left click. Uh, you can see that's the starting point where the red line draws out of the arc road. And then you can draw in as seen here. So you could create a full circle if needed. Um, or if it's just a, a half arc road, you can also draw that in as well. Uh, you've got the roundabout tool. Um, so this is a quite simple tool to use. So once you've selected it for use on your plan, uh, you just left click where you want the center of the roundabout to start. So if I'm drawing a roundabout down here, I can left click in the center of the road. And then it's just a matter of dragging your mouse out to adjust uh, the radius of your roundabout. So once you're happy with where it's set, um, you just left click to finish using it. You can then left click on the roundabout and then move it around to where it needs to go. Uh, I'll chuck in another couple of roads here just to make it a full roundabout. So you can click on the roundabout, you can adjust the radius and its properties as well. And you can also adjust the color um, that appears within the middle of the roundabout also. Uh, coming over to the road corner tool, um, this allows you to make any swept corners on your road. Um, so for example, with the roads that we've drawn in here, you can see it's perfectly straight. But if you've got a swept corner, um, so if you've got a turn coming up and you need to make it a perfectly kind of swept area here, you can just select the road corner for use. Um, now when drawing a road corner, uh, you'll just need to draw out three specific points of where the road area will need to go. So to demonstrate, I'll just draw in a road corner here. So I've left click to start it. And then I've drawn it in there. So right click to finish using. I can then left click it and just adjust it so that it covers all areas of the road. So now you can see we've got a large road corner area there. Um, now to bring it in like a swept corner, you'll see in the middle of the road corner when it's selected you've got a blue control point. You can then just left click and then bring that road corner in. And now you can see we've got a nice swept corner in there. So all of these tools um, that I've shown you, you can actually uh, use within the intersection editor. So that kind of cuts down the amount of time that you'll need to make an intersection or a, a group of roads. Um, so we do recommend checking out the intersection editor. Uh, the link for that video um, is in the description below. The final tool I'll cover is the road region tool. So this just allows for a, a drawing of a portion of road. So for example, uh, you may need to draw out a car park that's nearby. Um, to do this, you can simply just left click to start using the road tool. And then you can click for each point. Once you're happy with where it's at, um, it's just a left click to finish your final point and then right click to finish using the tool. Um, so as I mentioned, you can 
um, kind of create a car park. So you can come up to your infrastructure tools, use the park and bay tool. Um, you can connect your control points together with the parking bay and you can draw in some car parks uh, if needed. So you can see it's quite a versatile use its uh, tool. It's got a number of different uses um, for your plan. Um, so that sums up the road tools in Rapid Plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new videos at Inverium.